Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining this time is my Jamal brother. Martin, what one draws today? What's your overall thoughts on the game? Obviously, really disappointed. You know, after you know we go one nil up, the, the lad gets a red card, and you're playing against ten men. And when you you know you've you've dominated the game, you know throughout that period, you think you you're going to go on and see the game out. But you know, fair play to to Hyde, that galvanised them. You know, and I've just said to Wayne there. You know, sometimes, you know, um, you know, I, I thought it should have just been a yellow card. Um, the, the penalties, the penalties enough, but. You know, sometimes uh, 10 men can get a lift and it, it, it gave them a huge lift and, you know, they were the better side with, with 10 men. We couldn't get to grips with it. We tried to change shape. You know, we conceded a, a really poor goal, you know, and uh, <laughs> although we're, you know, we had a couple of late chances to, to try and win it, you know, we have to be better. And, you know, first half, I said to them, we've been the better side. We played some good football, same second half. And when they went down to 10, we just didn't keep the ball. And that's been our strength the last three games. Keep possession of the ball. They've got 10 men, make them work. You know, but we had a great chance to, to go 2 0 up. How it stayed out off the line and Slewy's not, you know, scrambled it in. I, I don't know. And, you know, um, ultimately, you know, if you don't take your chances and, and put games to bed, you know, you can always end up not winning games. It, it did look from up in the stand that the team was steadily dropping deeper after going a goal ahead. Was that a case of the the front line and the midfield not doing their share of holding the ball? Yeah, definitely. You know, we, we, we want to keep the ball and, you know, that's why we brought Harry Wakefield off and we put Slewy on to, to try and get some impetus and, and get in behind and, and make the ball stick up there. But, you know, it, it just wasn't happening and we didn't get, get a foothold in midfield like we did did first half. You know, and it's, it's so frustrating when, you know, we're, we're, we're capable of getting the ball down and getting out wide to, to Alan and JJ to create chances. and. You know, we just didn't do that and, you know, in the end, um, they might have nicked it and it would have been so disappointing because, like you say, for, for 65, 70 minutes again, we've, we've been the better side and, and, and deserved three points. Do you feel it, it's a lack of killer instinct to know how to kill off games? Uh, we saw against Staley Ridge midweek, we, it was a bit touch tight. Mm. Uh, seen again today, Hyde could have nicked it at the end. Is it a case of... You feeling the team doesn't have the relevant tools to kill off games, or is it something? No, we, have, we, we know we're, we're getting the chances, and we have to be we have to clean the and, and take them. You know, I spoke to Al about his his final ball, and he's trying to find the perfect cross when we just got to put balls into areas. You know, Conor Demires, you know, he smacked the lad in the face. You know, and we could have had a shot there, and you know, at any level of football, if you don't go two up, you're always vulnerable to to, to concede, and you know that's been the story of you know our season. Um, you know, since I came in, although you know we've seen some games at one nil, you know, unless you get that second game, you, you know, without a bit of luck, you, you don't you don't win those games, and it's a, a real a, a real opportunity to 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 gain an extra two points and push us right in those playoff spots. But it's not not to be today. We saw Soldini return to the side. He pulled off um, one or two really good times. One that I'm not entirely sure that he pushed onto the post, but I think he may have. And another to prevent Hyde from going too well. What was the thinking behind bringing him back into the starting eleven today? Yeah, you know, um, you know, Jim's, Jim's coming in and done well. And I just look back on on Soldini's record of the amount of goals we conceded while he's been in, and it's been few and far between. He's had four clean sheets in in five, and it was a, a, a big game. And I just thought that experience with him and Yatesy coming back in, obviously would have liked Dan Bradley in there again. But I thought Sol, you know, did a really good job today. Um, you know, and, and like you say, it's just sometimes experiencing those big games that, 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 that you want to, to get you through. And, you know, unfortunately, it didn't, didn't pull us through against the 10 men. But, um, you know, we're still in the pack and still fighting. Very much in the pack. I think I said on radio that I think if I'd offered you a point before the game, you'd have been a happy man. But offering you a point now, after seeing the game, it, it's a bit of a difficult one to swallow. Is that correct? Definitely, you know, I've just said in there, you know, we, we, we've gone away at South Shields, the, the best side in the league, and we could have got three points. We've, you know, outplayed, you know, the team in second for 65, 70 minutes with 11 men, been the better team and, and deservedly won the up and, and probably would have won on, should have gone on and, and won the game. You know, so lots of positives, you know, we're, we're really coming together and we're really close to becoming a really good side. Simon Ajaro has departed this week. Um... His move to his whereabouts is unknown currently. 
Are you looking now to add to your squad, or was it a case of thinning the herd out a bit because you feel you've got enough in the midfield now? Yeah, we don't need any more more players. You know, we've got Robin Nicholas. You know. Dan Bradley and, and Brad Abbott all to potentially come back into the squad next week. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a case of two or three missing out on the 16, you know, in the coming weeks. So, yeah, we certainly don't need to add and we, we've got quality, you know, waiting to come back into the side as well. Looking at that front line, I was looking at the goals uh, tally over the season. I think our top goal scorer currently, well, I think he's now Albert with seven goals. Is that something that you'll be keen to work on in the summer, finding a more goal scoring outlet? Yeah, you know, as a striker myself, and you know, you need a twenty-goal striker in 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 any team. You know, I know Demi's coming in. I think he's got four or five already so far in his, his short period. But you know, you know, any 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 team that's that's challenging for promotion and, and the playoffs, you know, you need two strikers who are going to get forty between forty and fifty goals between them. You know, um, during a season. So yeah, we know that um, we're on the lookout for for. For strikers, that's not you know being disrespectful to the strikers that we've got. You know we want to improve, and and we'll work with what we've got currently. You know we know both Slewy and Harry Wakefield and Demi can all get goals, so you know it's a work in progress. But you know those twenty goal plus strikers are they're not hard to come by these these days. Works to do for sure, but I think overall if we look at February minus a few blips, it's turned out pretty well for us. Are you, are you happy with February overall? Really, really good month, um, you know, and, and, you know, at the start of the, the month when we looked at this run of games and you, you looked at it, you think, oh, Jesus Christ, you know, um, how are we going to get through it? But we've come through it with, you know, flying, flying colours and I'm really proud of the boys. Certainly not just the, the results against, you know, the, the top sides, but the way we've played, the way we've gelled together and, you know, we're just um, really close to, to getting it right. Thank you for your time, Martin Crothers.